As we enter into this fourth week of Advent with Christmas just a few days away, I'd like to, if I could, briefly uh, discuss again uh, the readings from this past uh, Sunday, this fourth Sunday of Advent. And um, um, I, I addressed, uh, if you watch the Mass online, I addressed mostly the Gospel this, um, this Sunday, but I'd like to, if I could, connect it maybe with the reading um, from the Old Testament where David is living in this house of cedar, this probably very elegant sort of um, uh, kingly estate and God's dwelling in the tent among Israel in, in the uh, presence in, in the tabernacle. And he says, we, I need to build God a house to dwell in. And God, through a messenger, challenges them in saying, who are you to build a house for me? Suggesting that all this is my initiative. And fast forward a thousand years later, and God does make his home. And where does he do it? In the womb of a poor, unknown virgin, maybe 13 years old, a nobody, a cast off, someone living on the margins. And he goes there and he dwells in Mary because that's where God longs to dwell, in the human heart, in the human person. And as I've said this before, I'll say it again, we recognize in Mary our own innate capacity for God. That man, as I've said before, is an emptiness that only God can fill. And so as we start approaching the manger in these last few days. And finally we get there and we look down and we see the infant, the infant um, lying in a feeding trough and a cattle stall in a dirty, filthy sort of situation. We realize how far God longs to enter into the depths of our human heart. We don't have to look far. He's already there. Sometimes we just simply need to uncover him in our own weakness, in our own junk, in our own messiness, as I brought up this weekend. God dwells in us. That's where he dwells, and he dwells in every human being that we encounter. Until we embrace this reality, we are likely to miss Jesus Christ over and over and over again. We go to church. We go to Mass. We receive Christ in the Eucharist. But then he dwells in us. We become the living tabernacle. We become other Marys, so to speak. And then we go out and we look for other people that he dwells in as well. All this points to one thing. God has come to dwell in the depths of the human condition. And it's in our humanity in its truest form and in the humanity of others that will encounter him and have a true encounter with Jesus Christ. So look for him this week. Approach the manger in fear, awe, and trembling because we believe again and we reaffirm again that God has come to live among us, not as an emperor or as a majestic king, but as a baby, a child, a God who's taken on flesh, who has entered into our humanity and will not leave us. May God's love be with you always. Stay safe during this pandemic. Uh, if I don't see you at Christmas, have a blessed, holy, and Merry Christmas. Peace.